Meet the ultimate home cleaning robot. This thing does everything. It vacuums carpets, mops your floors, cleans itself. The whole time you're not lifting a finger. Oh, and it's also got a video camera and a speakerphone. Yeah, welcome to a world where robot vacs can video chat. The next wave of robot vacuums are mastering more than one job. And the latest vacuum from Roborock caught my attention as an example of how these zippy little floor cleaners really are evolving into something that can be really handy without needing our help. This model is the Roborock S7 Max V Ultra. I know, just rolls off the tongue, doesn't it? Now let's start with the basics, the cleaning. It vacuums and mops floors, and it's smart enough to not mop over your carpets. You see, it lifts up the mopping pad when it senses a carpet as to not get your rug soggy. The Max V Ultra also has this self-cleaning docking system that can clean itself for weeks without needing human maintenance. And let's get into that self-cleaning dock because this is clearly a beefy system that's gonna take up a lot of space. One canister is gonna suck up all the dry dirt into a dustbin and it has a bag that you empty out when it gets full. Yes, that means you have to buy bags for this. But the company says it will fill up in about seven weeks. That sounds impressive, but it's like, how are they testing this thing? Is it with a family that has girls with long hair and dogs and kids with their little cracker messes everywhere? I mean, I just wanna know what the lifestyle is that they're testing for, you know? But still, the idea is that you don't need to be cleaning this out every single time. Like I have to do with my Roomba and it's tiny little bin. I mean, I'm sorry, buddy, but you're kinda needy. <laughs> Let's get to the mopping part. Now it's got this system that is scrubbing the mop underneath to wash it when it's in the dock. And it's taking all the dirty water and storing it in its own container and it refills the vacuum machine with clean water. So all you have to do is watch those tanks and dump out the bad water and refill it with clean water. The company revealed this new model for CES 2022, where it showed off how it cleans the mop inside. Look at that little brush spinning around like a mini car wash, all splishy splashy. The whole auto refilling of water is supposed to get the machine to mop up to 300 square meters of floor space, which they say is 50% more than prior models. Now, it would not be a modern competitive robot vacuum if it didn't have camera laser guidance to avoid objects. Objects like dog poo. Yeah, it's gross to think about, and yet, vital. Now inside it's got a camera and a light system and a processor that's all powering this obstacle avoidance system, recognizing objects in the way and cleaning around them. So yeah, a robot vacuum with smart cameras. Cool, cool, we've seen that, Bridget, we know. Ah, but what you may not know is that these cameras are now becoming video monitors. So you can check in when you're not home, even chat with family. I spoke with Roborock's Dan Sham about it. Other than cleaning, we are we are actually thinking like, what else can uh, robot vacuums do? Uh, since you have the cameras there, why not add um, a function where you can actually allow a two-way communication? Uh, this this basically means that, you know, if you are away, uh, let's say in the CNET office, right, and then you you want to check in on your child at home, or if you have elderly or you have pets even, whenever you're not home, you just have to take out that Roborock app, just press on that that function. Stop it, you two! Knock it off right now and voila you get a picture of what's happening at home uh, you essentially see through the lenses of the robot so if you're on your phone using the roborock app you can get a real-time video feed from the vacuum's point of view camera and you can remote control the vacuum to steer it and face the camera where you want you can even start a call and talk to the people or the pets perhaps in the room with the robot it's two-way audio, but the video only goes one way. There is not a little screen on the vacuum that shows the face of the person on the phone, but maybe that could be an upgrade for next year. I would be down for having a little screen with my face on the vacuum whenever I possess its robotic body. It would give my kids nightmares by instilling fear that they better not wreck the home or a mobbing robot will come for them. 
back to the camera and the little speakers in this thing. This is a closer step to having home robots that you want to invest in because they offer a sense of security to check in on a loved one or say hi to the family, but there's no video storage on this thing or in the cloud, it's just real time video baby steps here. With a vacuum that can truly be hands off and take care of itself for a month or longer, yeah, we're finally getting helpful. We are getting closer to that useful home companion robot stage. Of course, it's not a real companion until you put googly eyes on it and give it a cute name. But the future is getting us to a point where the things that roam around to clean your floor can also patrol your floor. Just for a moment, think about Amazon Astro. It's still in its early days, but when that roaming security camera with a face was announced last year, the first thing I wondered was, well, it can dance and play music, but can it help clean? Uh, well, sorry, Astro, hold my beer, because now we have vacuums trying to do your job. Where do you see the future of this going? Is there, is there <laughs> possibilities for emerging of home robotics that can do more than one job as you're you know exploring right now there are a lot of companies trying to really look for that look for that solution to unsolved problems right um, and um, and yeah I, I think I think with with this remote viewing feature like it's not one of the main um, features that we, we we actually introduced on the s7 Max B ultra um, but Again, you see there is value in this. If you think about companionship, if you think something along the, the lines of, you know, not being there but being there with your with your ch children, or with with you know with the elderly, with your pets, even, it's it's something that you know adds a different dimension to 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 robot vacuum. Like previously, when you talk about robot vacuum, it's like, hey, can it clean? Can it can it return to the dock safely and automatically? Right now, you are talking about. Hey, can a robot vacuum actually, you know, be there and you know have fun with with my family members? Uh, hey, it's it's a uh, it's a whole new dimension, yeah. Roborock is not alone in this space. The company Ecovax is going head to head with Roborock with a do-it-all system. It was also revealed at CES. It's called the Ecovax D-Bot X1 Omni. Now it vacuums and mops hardwood floors, but the catch is that it doesn't vacuum rugs unless you take off the robot's mopping attachment. But that said, it also has a high-tech obstacle avoidance camera that, you guessed it, it could be used as a video monitor, so you can also have a chat through it. The X1 Omni has a large docking station, and it empties itself with the dirty water and refills the clean water, and it can also clean its mop heads. This particular design features two spinning disks, but the X1 Omni has one feature no one else has. You can talk to it. It understands voice commands without the need of another smart speaker from Google or Amazon. Doing automated multitasking is now the ultimate goal. A company called Narwhal is doing dual cleaning, but you have to manually swap out the pieces to switch between vacuum and mop. Also at TCL's presentation during CES, the company mentioned it's working on some two-in-one robot vacuum mop, but no word on when that's gonna happen, so it's still in the early stages for this technology. And because it's early tech, this level of autonomy will cost you. Roborock is pricing its Max-V Ultra model at just under $1,400, with a goal to get it available on Amazon by April. And the Ecovax D-Bot X1 Omni is a bit more. It's priced at $1,550, and it should hit around March. I believe home robotics are the area to watch this year, as real, helpful companions are getting more practical. Soon it may get to a point where it feels silly to call it just a vacuum, kind of like how we still call this a phone. If you want to learn more about these models, I have links below in the description, and you can keep up with all the hot news coming out of CES 2022 by subscribing to our YouTube channel and checking out the latest at CNET.com. And please do let me know what else you want to see in your robot vacuum mop companion best friend security system pet of the future besides googly eyes.